Hey guys, fall is rapidly approaching and you guys have been asking for some simple fall recipes. So now at the farmer's market, there's a ton of squash and squash is so easy to make. I love it. So this is a squash that most people don't use. This is a delicata squash. I love this. My family loves it. I have this prepped in the fridge all the time and I'm going to show you how easy it is because it does look a little scary trying to figure out how to get into this, but I'm going to show you right now. It's super easy. So what I do is I'll cut the ends off. So it's stable on the, on the cutting board. And then I cut straight down the center. This is how I prepare my acorn squash, butternut squash, most squashes that I use. This is how I do it. I cut off the ends. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scoop out the seeds. I just put my thumb in the belly of the spoon so I get a really sturdy grip. And then you just want to scrape all the strings out. See these strings? It's just like the inside of a pumpkin. It looks very similar. So you just want to get all that stringy stuff out and the seeds. You know, when it comes to squash, I don't usually roast them like I'll do with pumpkin seeds. I usually just discard them. But you want to get it like that so it's all nice and clean inside. So here I have my biodegradable bag that I always tuck in the side of my cutting board. Just scoop all the scraps right into there. And then later this makes for really easy cleanup. You know, just things that work, you know, making life easier. Okay, great. So now we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna get all the strings and the seeds out. Good grip on the spoon, thumb in the belly. See that? And you gotta use it, you know, you gotta put a little bit of muscle into it. You also gotta not be scared to get a little dirty. Okay, let's scoop the seeds into the MacGyver, <laughs> the MacGyver scrap bag. Okay, great. So here's an example of one of my delicatas that's carved out and ready to go. So now I'm gonna do the other one. Let's hack into this. And again, watch your fingers. I just place my palm on the top and cut straight down. So next time you see these, just grab one. I mean, they're, they're so good when you cook them up. They get so beautiful and sweet. And they're like these little half moons, which I'll show you. They're really great for kids. They're great to just, for us, to just throw into a salad. So easy, so versatile. Put all the scraps into our bag here. So with the delicata squash, I think the outside is so beautiful. And a lot of times I'll just slice it and roast it just like this. But sometimes for a little bit of a different look, I like to actually shave a couple of pieces of the skin off. So we're gonna do that right now. So this just kind of gives it a little bit of a different look because when you roast it up, this color will be different from this. And it just kind of makes it look really cool. So that's something that I actually learned from a restaurant that I was at. I saw them do this and I'm like, ooh, that's cool. Cause it adds like a different look to it. You know what I mean? So then when it roasts, just that different texture. And because I always have this stuff prepped in my fridge, I love those little, those little kind of changes you can do, you know, to spice it up. So now I'm gonna do that with the rest of them. You can totally not do that at all and just, you know, chop them as is. But I always like a little extra flair. Next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna slice them into little half moons. I usually like them to be about that thick. You know, half an inch to three quarters of an inch. So as you're doing this, you know, tuck your fingers in, watch your fingies. But this is a squash that a lot of people don't use and it's so beautiful. And now is the season to use it. They're so good. They're so fresh at the market. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is move these to a pan. My oven is heating up at 350 degrees. So now you want them all spread out. You don't really want them touching, but 
We're gonna put some olive oil, salt and pepper, toss them up a little bit, and then we're just gonna spread them out again. So this is super easy. Olive oil. So now we're gonna mix it all up. And you really wanna kind of grab the pieces and just massage them a little. You just wanna make sure, see how when they're coated, they're all nice and shiny like that? That's what you want. So just grab them, give them a little, little massage, a little TLC. So now we're gonna spread them all out. So now we're gonna throw this in the oven. It's 350 degrees. I'm gonna set a timer for 15 minutes. Usually squash is cooked in about 30, usually, depending on how thick you cut it. So halfway through cooking, you always wanna flip them, toss them a little bit, because as they cook, the bottom will get really golden on the pan. So you wanna flip it so the other side gets nice and golden and it gets like this kind of like candy coating. They're so good. Okay, let's set a timer for 15 minutes. Okay, great. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes. So now we're just gonna flip these over. You can see how like the other side is starting to brown there and get a little candy. See that little starting to brown. So you just wanna make sure they're all flipped. And obviously be careful, this is hot. Okay, now let's set a timer for 15 minutes. Ooh, that's looking nice. So it's been another 15 minutes and this is looking awesome. Look at that. All that beautiful golden like candied squash action. This is perfectly cooked. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of mutilate one of these so that you guys can see, but you want it to be soft straight through, right? So now that's totally cooked. Beautiful. Okay, let's take these out. So this is your prepped delicata squash. This stays good in my fridge for like three to four days. I love it, throw in the salads, snack as a side. Okay, cool. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you know when I put up a new one, and I'll see you guys next time.